It's me again. I'm sorry for my humble opinion, however, I couldn't left the last statement of Mr. Musk alone, because he gives us infographic from data with 2012 and saying that some territory of Ukraine has a pro-Russian party and Russian-speaking population that may probably consider to be the part of the Russia and we need to revoke referendums. Probably he is speaking about me. Because me, 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 me has been lived in Russian-speaking town at the east of my country and the town name is Dnipro. And me has been speaking Russian language 32 years of my adult life. However, when I saw what Russian troops has been done to another Russian-speaking towns as Mariupol and Kharkiv, how they brutally invade my country in my house, and what have they done with our captives, the torture with deprivation of sleep, the torture with starvation, another torture, how they raped our kids and toddlers, and the most youngest victim was nine months old, guys. Realize it, nine months old. And when I realize all this, I completely changed my mind and reconsider. I do not want to relate to Russia anymore on any of the case. And I'm sure that millions of Ukrainians from the East has changed their mind since 2012. I just want Mr. Musk to realize that money and fame does not make him geopolitical expert or prophet aka Jesus that 100% can predict what I want for my life, same as millions of Ukrainians from the East. I just have one question to Mr. Musk. When Tesla Model Z will be released?